This video shows the process for creating a zip file folder from files that are stored on your computer. Our first step is to locate the files that we want to compress into a zip file folder. And I'm going to go out to uh, a folder called supervision class. I'll then highlight the files that I want to have placed into the zip folder. You'll notice I have two files here. If I want to grab a series of files, I can click the mouse and highlight and drag. Otherwise, I can click on the first file and then hold down the control key and click on individual other files that I want to add to the list. Once I'm done selecting the files that I want to compress, I can go into the menu File and then Send to Compress Zip Folder and my folder has been completed. I now have a zip file folder. If I double click on this, it will open up a file viewer for that zip file compressed um, subfolder. And I'll notice that the files are compressed within this structure. I can tell that this is a zip folder rather than a normal subdirectory because the title here will say Dot .zip and I'll also have under the folder tasks extract all files. Our next process will be to extract from the zip archive. To extract from a zip archive, first find the file folder that has been zipped and you'll notice that the icon has a zipper on it. Also, if you take a look at the address bar, you'll notice that the end of the file uh, structure says .zip on it. Once we've selected the file folder that we want to extract files from, we'll go to the menu File, Extract All. We'll pre be presented with the Extraction Wizard, and then we'll click on Next on the first panel. At this point we can select a destination for the zip folder. Normally I will use the default as presented in the extraction wizard and then I can click on next. The files will be extracted and then we want to use the checkbox to show the extracted files and then click on finish. And then we'll, we will be presented with a new file uh, browser window that shows us the actual files. Again, we can tell that these are the actual files rather than the zip files because in the address bar of the File Explorer, um, it's just a subdirectory root rather than a zip folder. And we can also change our views to show that we are looking at folders rather than a zip folder.